Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a podcast. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. What's up? I'm the, I'm the Gimp, and uh, well, the podcast mainly is about true friends. Now, uh, recently, I've noticed a lot of my old friends from school and the people that I used to grow up with have become just backstabbing, just fucking pricks. You know, recently found out that uh, a friend that I thought I had uh, just used me as a stepping stone, you know, just to, to use me as a joke with some of their friends, you know, the la-di-da fucking rich boys, uh, you know, and that just, you know, in the, the old days I'd be so depressed, but, see, you know, Fuck you, and then fuck you again, you fucking greedy, corrupt bastard. Go, go fucking sit in your gold-tinted fucking hot tub and go choke on your own fucking semen, you fucking prick. Good God. I just, you know, and you think you know people, you know, and then they just turn into real pricks, you know. You know, you think that some of the football players and the cheerleaders and you know psh, they just they don't care they just they, they're caring about their own self-sufficient egos you know uh, fuck them but I do have one friend left that uh, definitely speaks the truth and the almighty word a friendship MS aka Mike so no not the ape man from ape man cometh Anyway, I hope the guys from PTR listen to this and they they play it back because you know they should they should hear a different side of the game because you know for years I played the happy-go-lucky guy and in real life I'm just really jaded and pissed off at the world. I have my own view of the world. Oh, by the way, Mike, here's my my five cents because of interest rate. I think you should do the eight man comment if if it's provoked, or, or if you still feel like, you know, ranting on things, but if not, that's okay, it, it frees you up for all the PTR goodness, you know, although I do like the, I like the solo shows, you know, but that's just my little, yeah, anyway, hold on, a drink here, I love having a friggin' soda right here. Alright, back to true friends. Don't go off the white sheet. And then, there are some of the, the girls that were like, Oh, you're such a sweet boy. And they were like, you know, now they're cuntzillas. You know, they think they own the world. Oh, my God. Five or six of my friends have been through divorces because of these cunts. And they get screwed over royally by these bitches. You know... Take a word of advice from good old Steve. Don't get married and let them control your dick. Okay? Alright. Cool? Cool. Because in the end, they'll fuck you over. They'll fuck you in the ass. Fuck you in the pee pee wee wee. And, you know. I just. I said to myself, I'm glad I'm not married. Because I would get fucked over. Much better. Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm just to the point where I say fuck it all to hell because if you're gonna lie to me and screw me over, in the end you're not worth the fucking shit. So yeah, one of the guys, you know. His wife accused me of stalking her and flirting with her and touching her boobs and stuff, but I never did. She's a fucking lying little rich bitch cunt. Fuck you, dude. Yep. I bet you a PTR and Mike have never heard me like this. I'm, you know, I said, screw it. Ditch the happy-go-lucky idiot character for a really pissed-off, jaded, 
version of me. Because, you know, there's so much that a happy-go-lucky guy could do, you know? <sighs> oh, oh, yes, that's right. A while back, I was in Family Dollar, and one of my supposed friends uh, tried to start shit in Family Dollar. Well, <laughs> it was a good thing that a police officer was handy because, well, he's one of my true friends, one of the police officers, at least I hope. He's like, do we have a problem here, sir? And the motherfucking coward just took off. Yeah, he just... Like, uh, oh, uh, you know, fucking A. There are some fucking idiots in this world. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I'm open to suggestions for, uh, the next podcast. You know, Mike, Ape Man, uh, Shaggy, Nate, Colin. Give me some ideas for the next podcast. I would love to hear your ideas. Okay? Do you like the new me? Or do you like the happy-go-lucky version of me? I'm, I'm kind of interested. Because, see, I'm kind of out of character. Because I'm, I'm... You rarely hear me get really pissed off and worked up about a certain subject. Okay? I just... True friends. Are they real? Are they backstabbing crooked cocksuckers? Oh, yeah, oh, you know, it, one of my friends, I don't know if they're, they're planning on running for senator or, or district person, dickhead. I hope he doesn't screw us over. I'll fucking sick Obama on you. I don't know. I don't know, to tell you the truth, I'll just go off the the train of thought here. I don't know if Obama's going to screw it all up, or is he going to help us out in the end. See, we need Clinton back in office. Why? Because while he was in office, we didn't have that many wars or anything. We didn't have many worries. We were doing pretty good. George Bush, fucking dumb shit, hillbilly fucking cowboy, fucking cocksucker fucking president screwed a lot of things up <sighs> I wonder what Obama's gonna do <sighs> Jesus. this world's going to shit folks anyway true friends <laughs> get back to the fucking subject dude hmm. <sighs> well if you're my friend good if not then fuck you and then fuck you again that I'd borrow that from Damon. Because I'm just sick of the bullshit and the drama. Eventually you're going to find out not to fuck with me. Alright? Because I will tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Alright, this is The Gimp and this has been my podcast. And wow, I actually i am doing pretty good with my format. Till the next time, this is The Gimp. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>